How do you tell the world that your brand is really amazing? That you really do what you claim and that, what you do, is worth buying or using? You do that by making the, world, aware of your brand. In other words, you market your brand to your target customers, using the right channel, the right message, and the right, hooks. If your brand sells yogurt and you want to copy the brand awareness strategy of an up-and-coming fashion designer, that is likely to be a resounding failure. While there are many concepts or strategy points we can replicate across many brand awareness projects, the secret to success lies in our ability to fine-tune the details of each brand awareness strategy. Every brand strategy outline presents the same set of challenges. 1. Convey the desired brand profile across what is likely to be a highly competitive marketplace of either services or products. 2. Deliver a consistent brand message and use all available opportunities to raise the brand's public perception and image. 3. Position the brand as the best place to address unique industry issues, priorities, or services. In this video, I have chosen to share a brand awareness strategy I have recently devised for a management consultancy with an already well-established track record in the energy sector, and a very healthy portfolio of clients. I believe this example will help many of you structure your own brand awareness strategy outline, for either your clients or your employer. Let's begin. The first thing you need to do is to establish the brand's baseline, i.e. the status quo. 1. Does the brand have a clear identity? 2. What is the brand's business segmentation? 3. What is the brand's business model? 4. What is the brand's client appeal? Why are existing clients choosing the brand? The second step is that of presenting the brand, clearly conveying its key messages. This is why the next three subcomponents are absolutely critical. 1. Defining the brand 2. Determining the brand objectives 3. Focusing on narrowing and profiling the target stakeholders, users and, ideally, the customer persona. The third step is the one where your marketing and communications team need to come in and help. Now you have to package the brand. As, at its core, branding is an organization's identity in the marketplace. Is the brand portraying what it should? What image is the brand conveying to its potential clients and competition? What are the benefits in using the brand? It is therefore critical that the brand awareness strategy should address key features such as a. Trust. b. Market drive. c. Recognition. d. Unique features. e. Clear positioning. f. Preemptive services, products. Once all these are identified, then you need to pin down the business rationale of the brand and its foothold. 1. Where does the brand operate, as in geographic footprint? 2. How many offices, locations does the brand have? 3. How often does the brand provide its services or products in those areas? Fundamental is your ability to suss out in, ideally, one sentence or paragraph, the exact benefit or benefits the brand brings to the industry sector it serves. For instance, in the case of my client, the benefit they brought to their clients were clear. We are well aware that a college-style lecture is not the right approach for professionals who need to leave a training session with immediately applicable skills that will help them create real value for their organization. That's why our training programs are designed to be highly participative and interactive, ensuring that participants are engaged and crucially are fully equipped to provide a swift return on the training investment. The next step you need to take is that of articulating the brand message. This is where message channeling plays a key role. You need to 1. Maximize the brand's value to the industry or sector it serves. Highlight its industry responsiveness and articulate the wide range of its users. 2. Highlight the brand's contribution to issues of industry, public, educational, and local, national interest. 3. Position the brand in line with its various national and local initiatives, and portraying it as an authoritative source of excellence and expertise. Once you do this, you need to bring your marketing and communications team back because you have to 1. Create and disseminate the stakeholder messaging. After you have carried out the stakeholders' identification, classification, analysis, impact, engagement, motivation and resilience. 2. Cement total message consistency. One message with one voice. 3. Research. As in beta test, the stakeholder reactions to your brand engagement, anticipate the need, identify the requirements, investigate alternatives, mitigate the risks, monitor the implementation, benchmark the success. 
The clear benefits of following the outline brand awareness strategy steps highlighted above are obvious. Input in shaping initiatives. Message ownership. Gain support and additional resource. Increase brand visibility and awareness. New markets. New clients. Solidifying the provider of choice status. The final components of this brand awareness strategy relate to driving the brand forward and replicating its success. Depending on the industry, sector of the brand you may be outlining an awareness strategy for. The forward-looking marketing strategy may include the negotiation of various frameworks, the enhancement of cross-sectorial cooperation and knowledge transfer, the embedding of the brand's corporate systems across all its functions, suppliers and partners, the support for the expansion of its clients' knowledge-based skills. Just like public relations practitioners piggyback on the news of the day to provide their clients with much-needed media coverage, by positioning your client employer correctly as a brand, then the future growth opportunities can be further expanded by looking at umbrella type cooperation opportunities such as topic-led symposiums, conferences, national events, international events, industry segment events, targeted information bulletins, guest speaker events, the clear advantages of pursuing this outline brand awareness strategy are vast, brand recognition and meeting all client expectations. Ensuring a global, quality, brand awareness, providing a stable ground for multi-party industry initiatives. Assisting industry-driven initiatives. Acting as an unbiased and highly reputable service provider. In turn, at the end of this marathon, how to, your strategy will come full circle because of the success stories your client employer was able to draw upon, because of the testimonials they received, and because of the external recognition you helped them to carefully gain. Thank you for being here today. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to subscribe to this channel. Power and influence is a journey, and I would love to have you with me on it.